Well, it is being called one of the worst interstate crashes in the Columbia area since the 1970s. And tonight, the situation is under control. Now, authorities say it's a miracle nobody was killed when a tanker truck exploded on Interstate 26 just before 6 this morning. Ten vehicles in all were affected in that. Amazingly, no one was seriously injured. And tonight, all lanes of traffic in that region are flowing again. Well, it all happened this morning between exit 104 and on Interstate 26. That is between St. Andrews Road and Piney Grove Road. Hundreds of yards of asphalt were simply melted by the heat of that fire. The east and westbound lanes were shut down for most of the day while transportation workers repaired that area. Now, our Leah Holloway is live tonight along that stretch of Interstate 26 with the latest right now. Yeah, Leah, what can you, what can you tell us about what drivers can expect if they have to travel through that area to get to work in the morning? Well, Janet and Brian, this wreck all started out with a two car collision that ultimately turned into chaos. Now, even though the lanes on I 26 have been repaired and are open again, drivers still need to be mindful of exactly what's going on out here. Now, South Carolina Department of Transportation crew spent more than eight hours repairing the damage on this section of Interstate 26 today. According to Lance Corporal David Jones of the SC Highway Patrol, DOT crews will be out here for the next couple of days doing cleanup work and reviewing the repairs to make sure they hold up. The tanker involved in today's wreck was said to be carrying 8,500 gallons of fuel. Five of the 10 vehicles that were involved in the crash were fully engulfed in flames. The heat from that fire actually melted portions of the asphalt. Even though the lanes are open back up, DOT workers and troopers want drivers to be mindful of the road. Your initial thought is to, to, to see the wreckage and think the worst. But in this circumstance, nobody was seriously injured, no lives lost. So it's a miracle that we were able to come out here today with, with no serious injury. No fatalities were reported in this incident. A total of four people were taken to the hospital with injuries. Officials say none of those injuries were life-threatening. The South Carolina Highway Patrol says they will continue to investigate this incident to try and figure out exactly what happened. Live on Fernandina Road, Leah Holloway, Watch Fox News. Well, after seeing the damage that crash left behind, it is very difficult to believe that 